Hello, this is Matt Sherwood, and this is part two regarding removing backgrounds and manipulating layers. So I'm going to continue on with this now. You can see that all of these images are placed in separate layers. You can also see that they have their backgrounds removed because there's a checkerboard in the background, except for this one layer on the bottom. That's my base layer, my background. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is select the rectangular area that I want to keep and go to the bottom and make a selection rectangle over the whole picture except for that bottom section where I can see the transparent layer showing through. And I'm going to come up to the top and click on the button that says crop to selection. And you can see that transparent section at the bottom of the picture has been removed. Now, as far as manipulating pixels, it's kind of tricky. So what I'm going to do is actually keep, uh, turn off my background layer right here. I'm going to turn off some layers that I don't intend to work on right now, right there. And I'm going to keep the layer of the girl and the purple or the blue violet on there. So now I'm going to select the blue violet layer. I'm also going to select some pixels around the blue violet. Now this tool here is called the Move Selected Pixels tool. If I click on that and I have an area selected, I can move those pixels. I can also resize them with this tool, which makes it quite helpful uh, because I, I need to make this uh, flower closer to the size of the that would go on the, the girl's head. Now note here, you, you, you never want to take pixels like the picture of this girl and make the picture bigger because that will reduce the quality of your picture. Rather, take your, your larger pictures when you have multiple layers and make them smaller. That way you're, not, you're, you're losing information, but it matches the smaller layers that you have. Now a little trick here, in Paint.net when I have the Move Pixels tool selected and I right-click, I can rotate around the area that I right-clicked. And so now I'm going to rotate that flower to a new angle, right about there. Now I'm going to left-click in the middle and move that to the edge here. I'm going to, again, try to find an angle that looks good on this girl. And the edge, of course, that, that flower was sort of cut off on the edge. So I, I think it needs a little bit of cleanup to make it look better. So I'm going to take the eraser tool and just kind of round it out. And nobody would notice that that had a straight edge before. Let me go to the corner. There we go. Looks much better. OK, now I'm going to continue this same process of moving pixels around with the other layers. So now I can turn off that layer. I could go to the layer with the blue violet to select these pixels and choose the move pixel tool ah i made a classic mistake here i forgot to select the layer that i wanted to work on so i'm going to click on the layer i want to work on and now i can move that so that's a pretty common mistake actually even for people who have been working with layers a, a long time it's just you just forget to switch layers when you want to do something and so there I have that flower in the position where I want it now I can turn off that layer and I'm gonna to go to the red rose layer turn it on and um, ah, kinda of shows me that there's a little bit of noise now I first have to turn off this blinking section and I can do this by clicking in the gray area so I'm gonna choose my eraser clean up that little bit of noise left over I'm gonna select now the area around the rows and repeat the process by resizing that rows right click in the middle of it and rotate that a little bit and perhaps resize that a little more and left click in the middle and move it over to where I want that and cute cute all right now I'm going to turn on my background and you can see we kind of have a new picture that wasn't there before and uh, I did those different flowers so I can choose which one looks the best and uh, I don't know if it looks good to have a whole bouquet on her head so uh, I think 
Yeah, I think I like just the rose. So I'm going to uncheck those layers with the other flowers. And uh, now my picture is ready. And uh, notice the girl's layer is slightly, slightly off the bottom here. So I'm going to take the layer with the girl on it and move her down just a little bit there. There we go. And I would consider that picture ready.